man. Come on. You already know what it is. It's your man, Richie Evans. And you're going to tune in my exclusive interview with Who Got That Fire. Tap in. Uh, West Coast, right off the plane. Hello, Mary Jane. Let go my favorite strain from my lungs to my veins. Brown, hush puppy smooth. She chews. It's presidential. Any residential. Feel me on them instrumentals. Old man on the fiddle. Told me Jones. Never let her. Um, I was just doing like, um, just gathering a little information on myself. Get a yeah. chance. Happen, you know what I mean? Hold on, where is yeah. my camera? Can you see me? Yeah, 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 I got you. But yeah, and I just was, I'm always, I'm at that point now, man, I, I really enjoy finding out new things, new artists, you know, saying yeah. new superheroes and legends and hip hop, you know, doing their thing, you know what I mean? Love and respect, man. Like I said, you know, definitely, you know what I'm saying, you know, you, uh, you paved the way, you know what I mean? It's definitely for a nigga like me, man. So, you know what I mean? Respect to you for sure. Oh, major love, young Richie Evans. Man, Um, I mean, so Pennsylvania. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, out of Pennsylvania. And, um, I mean, what was that like for you? You know what I'm saying? Growing up in, where well, you're from, my part of Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm right outside of Philly, but, you know, we still call it Philly. But, um. Dope. You know, it was it was um it was dope for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, you know, um I spent a few years there and then you know my moms and pops end up, you know, definitely splitting ways and that's what got me out west. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I was born in Philly, you know what I'm saying, raised out west, you know right. what I mean, which was you know, definitely, you know, comes off in my music, but you know, kinda 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 the same the same hustle and grind as you know, any kid, man. You know, you try to find your way at an early early age and you know, you kinda lock into something to kinda you know, help, help, help motivate you from not going down the wrong path. And, you know, that's what, you know, music did. Um, you know, I had an uncle at the time, you know, I mean, he was a few years, you know, he was older than me, of course, but, you know, he was, he, he was into that NWA era, that Ice Cube, that NWA, and, you know what I'm saying, you know, music at that, at that particular time, which is kind of how, you know, I even kind of got into this whole music thing, man, you know, you know, you know, at that time, being young, being curious and listening and, you know, watching the Ice Cube with the hat to say nigga on it, and you know what I mean, shit like that definitely was a a motivation and an inspiration to uh to really start you know doing some homework and doing my you know due diligence in this rap shit. Right, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, as always, I tell cats, you know, um, whether you had the uncle, or the big cousin, if you didn't yeah. have, them, um, they wasn't turning you on to the music. The right. music was the big uncle and the big cousin. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying, guy, and you out there like that. So, at what age did you leave from the East Coast to the West Coast? Um, like I said, I left. I ended up leaving Philly when I was young, man. When I was like six, and like I said, start making my way out to Phoenix, where, where I'm from. Um, so, you know, like I said, man. You know, at that at that particular time, you know, it was it was just a uh, how can I say? You know, it was just it was just a journey of trying to grow up. You know what I mean? Like I said. You know, the moms and pops end up splitting, you know what I mean? You know, you, you, you kind of had to grow up fast. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. So um, at that particular time, man, just like I said, necessarily, man, you know, having my little issues as, as a young adolescent. But, you know, I end up finding music, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of, you know, at that at that time, you know, kind of had me doing some real some real life homework. You know what I'm saying? You know, really start becoming a real student of the game. Like I said, you know, listening to the Ice Cubes and then, you know, venturing off into the Nazis and then listening to the, you know, the Masterpiece and yourself and, you know, you know, digging into the cash money, you know, you know, peeping onto the outcast, listening to, you know, you know, you know, different artists' cadences and in 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 rhyme patterns and you know, kind of how they formulate and articulate where they from and what they was about, man. So, you know, it definitely I definitely started um really really getting getting nice with it i would i would truthfully say you know high school going to, going to college hey. and once i end up you know you know being a grown man i end up becoming a grown man you know got my first deal with the uh west coast legend the game you know what i'm saying he gave me an opportunity and a blueprint to really see what this shit was really about sure. you know um you know at that time you know you really start learning about the business too you know at that time him and 50 cent was going through you know they they situation which ultimately folded the label Black Wall Street and you know I was I was um I was faced with a opportunity to do two things you know what I'm saying you can you know you can sit there and hope the situation get better or you can stand tall you know what I'm saying do some homework and put the grind in on yourself and and, and make it happen for you you know what I mean yeah, sink or swim no doubt yeah so you know um 
you know, as time went by after after that, man, you know, I, I just went for it. You know what I mean? Like I said, start moving around a little bit, going to different cities and states, you know, linking with a you know, bunch of different producers that I end up meeting, actually, you know, working on games album and being in that whole circle. Yeah. You know, I, I thought it was time for me to, you know, utilize that shit for my own. Um, definitely at the, at that particular time, you know what I mean? Start sharpening the skill set a little bit more. And then, uh, like I said, now, man, you know, I just dropped my uh, EP called Highly Favorite that dropped a few weeks ago. Uh, the first record off of it features my man Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, my guy Vito, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, the R&B singer Vito. And uh, we got a record called Can't Knock the Hustle. That's, that's definitely a, a problem. I think it's like number 15 on iTunes right now. Um, we just charted on Billboard. So, you know, I'm definitely out here pushing, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a major, major blessing and a huge uh, jump from starting off and learning the game to elevating to that point. Tell me, what was yeah. what was high school like for you? I mean, I know it had to be slightly culture shock. Um, Absolutely. Seven years old, going to, um, going to Phoenix, right? Going to Arizona. Yeah, yeah. So, I yeah. mean, what was middle school, high school like for a young Richie, you know what I'm saying? Like in the transitions of that, you know, finding your, um, school, finding your way out. Yeah. Know? It was, it was, it was, it was, it was definitely a transition because, like, like I said, man, you start going from the aspect of you start coming a young adolescent at that point. You know what I mean? You start getting a little bit more curious. You know, you're really starting to get an understanding on what you know life is kind of about. Uh, you know, you got to start making some real solid decisions for yourself. You know what I'm saying at that particular point. And you know, it, it was, it was, um, it was a transition. You know what I'm saying? Especially out west. You know, out west, more gang banging. You know what I'm saying? Cripping and blood and, you know, essays and all that. You know, back east, it really wasn't that that type of, you know, time. You know what I'm saying? Back east was more hustlers. You know what I mean? You know, everybody trying to get money, doing, you know, doing what they do. So it definitely was a, a culture shock at that particular aspect for me. You know what I mean? But like I said, man, you know, just, you know, just trying to do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know, you know of, of course, I bumped my head a few times, but, you know, trying to do the right thing, man, and trying to do better. Um, it, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was all right. It was all right. That's crazy. I've, um, I always used the comparison, like, you know, um, you know, uh, your world will change and go flip upside down. And then, yeah, we bump our heads and we learn, but like, man, it's, uh, it's such a, a great opportunity because it could always been worse. You oh, know? absolutely. Was, absolutely. So I absolutely. Like, I like to think that like Arizona is not. It's, it's one of the richest places, I mean, motherfuckers should know about. You know I mean? Right, right. So, you know, and but it'd be kind of like not on some people's radar when it comes radar. to radar. Yeah. Music like that, you know what I'm saying? So, break that down for me because I know a few years back they had a few guys here and there doing their thing, but you, yeah. know, you know, you represent uh, the West from this Arizona. Like, I mean, how is that working for you? You know what I'm saying? I know that got a little. A little, a little, a little work going on for it. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, you know, through this journey, you know, what I'm saying, I always say, you know, for myself, um, you know, Arizona is a state that a lot of people don't really know from a musical standpoint. You know, it's not like in LA, it's not like in Atlanta, it's not like in New York. So, from my particular standpoint, anything that I do or anything that I had to do, I had to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, first things is first. You know what I mean? In order for somebody to even, you know give you an opportunity to listen, you know, for them to listen to your music, you know what I'm saying? You, you had to have a, a, a respect aspect of it, you know what I'm saying? So for me, you know what I mean? My, my approach in this whole particular game was I was like, listen, you know, I'm going to put out a couple records first, but I want people to understand that I can really rap. Like, nah, that nigga really nice with his, you know what I'm saying? And then after, you know what I'm saying, I gained the respect of it, then I'll go ahead and start, you know, trying to get, the, you know, the industry chart topping records and going out here and getting the major features and things that I need to solidify what, what I got to do. So for me, like I said, Phoenix, man, definitely right now is, is starting to get that national attention and recognition that, that we need. Um, like I said, of course, the record with me and Ross is doing a lot of justice. Uh, you know, we shot the video, that's how BET, MTV and all that. Uh, you know, uh, the Phoenix Suns, we got Kevin Durant, you know what I'm saying? We just had the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, you know, so we're, so 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 we definitely starting to get a lot of good sure. national and in, in, international attention. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's really helping. Yeah, that's, that's that's definitely helping put the spotlight on. You know what I'm saying? What I'm doing for sure. Y'all cutting up? You talking about you just have a Super Bowl out there? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah come on, man. Got KD. Yeah, come on, man. Come you know on, what I mean? Come on, who, got man. A, who got a who got who got a top twenty five record with Ross? Come on, man. Come on, bro. So check us out. How did you end up linking with Ross? How did Young Richie Evans end up linking with Ross to make this up? Uh, so what's what's, what's kind of crazy about it is, um, me and Ross, we got you know some mutual people, and I was in L.A. at the time working on the EP. And um, we, we kind of ran into each other. It was kind of ironic because he was like, yo, I was just talking about you. And I was like, oh, yeah. And he was like, yeah. He was like, you know, basically, you know, Ralston did everything in this industry. I think that an artist and an executive can do pretty much thus far. You know, he, he's, he's broken, you know, uh, you know, new new artists, you know, from Meek Mill to Wale, Stiley, you know what I'm saying, did all that. But there was one thing that I felt that he hasn't done yet. And I feel that like he ain't never broke a West Coast artist. Now, every, you know, every, everybody knows there was a time when um, he was trying to sign Nipsey. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. my boy Nip. Um, right. yeah. You know, however, yeah, however, that that didn't end up happening or whatever. But um, we just got to kind of chopping it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And he was just like, yo, like, he see me in passing. He see me around for a little bit, heard the music, you know, kind of you know, seen the way I really maneuvered and he really fucked with it because it was kind of similar to his, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I do fly shit. I'm, you know, I'm a cool nigga and like cool nigga energy, you know what I'm saying? So um, we just ended up talking for like maybe a, two hours, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, you know, he wanted me to be around a little bit more. He really wanted to get to know me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I know everybody else know you and I see you in passing, but I, you know, I really want you to vibe with me. Let me, let me see how you get down. And I kind of wasn't with it at first because I, I felt like it was going to be the little brother syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 yo, let me let me just go ahead and put him up under my wing, show him a few things, and there's a ceiling right there, and that's it. You know what I mean? Right. So I, I I think once he really understood and kind of seen how I was moving and kind of how I was really had my business in play, he was like, nah, the young is really out here on the shit. So I asked him, I said, well, listen, man, I'm working on this EP right now. I got this record I think you'll, you'll sound phenomenal on. And he was like, yo, let me hear it. So we went up to the room, I played the record, and the first thing he said, he was like, man, I can't even lie. He was like, this is something that I would have picked for my album. You know what I mean? And the first thing, you know, the first thing that that did was put me on notice that he at least respected my ear. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, a couple of days went by, and then a week later, man, he ended up sending it back to me, man, and, and, and it, 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 it came to fruition. You know what I mean? We ended up keeping in contact, and he invited me out, you know, a couple more times to vibe with him. And, you know, I was like, well, look, come in my city. You know what I'm saying? You know, shoot this video. Let me, you know, show you how I move around and get down. And he, and he did. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, truthfully, I just ended up building a solid relationship with him. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, there's been a lot of talk about these these different types of things. But, you know, we, we're going we're gonna to see, 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 see how it go. You know what I'm saying? The opportunities have been there. The friendship is there. The business respect is there. So. You know the working relationship is there, so we definitely got some shit that's uh progressing. That's um positive enough already. I have uh, a lot of love and respect for Rose. You know, yeah, it's not um easy to stand champion amongst all these years in this business like this. Yes, you know? sir. A rap artist's career is said to be no longer than a year. Right. Two years, and that's still yeah. scratching my head like. God damn, you know what I'm saying? Yo, no, nah, he in here, he definitely getting to it and definitely handling his business right. You know what I'm saying? He definitely found a, a sweet spot in this industry, you know what I'm saying, to uh to make it happen. So definitely salute to Rose. No, no doubt. So um this West Coast, this Arizona vibe, yeah. what is your what's what's the vibe of production? Coming from Richie Evans, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, who, who are key producers that you're working with? Yeah, that you would like to work with that imagine. Gotcha. I mean, you know, um, you know, I'm very, how can I say it? You know, for me, you know, I me, mean, my ear is very unique. It's very eclectic. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm an artist, artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can, you know, I, I like to write, create. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, ghost written for a few people, did did some other things. So I got a different mindset, but I'm definitely big on solid, solid production. Um, off of this this EP, um, I reached out to um, I don't know if you know who the Olympics are. I heard of the name before, yeah. Yeah, they based out of out of Detroit. You know what I'm saying? They you know did some uh, production on Jeezy's album, Ross's album. 
uh, two chains, you know what I'm saying? They're very credited, you know what I'm saying, for what they do. You know what I mean? They got a they got a great sound that I really fuck with. Um who else? Uh there's a new a new producer named Paul Cabin and, and Tariq. Uh they did a lot for Wale, Wiz, uh who else, man? Um you know, they 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 yeah, Trey Songs, you know what I'm saying, Jeremiah, you know yeah. what I mean? They're they're definitely dope as well. Um the producers that I'm I'm looking forward to right now to work on my full length LP that we're gonna probably drop late summer. Um I don't Cool and Dre. For sure. That's that's family. Shout out to Cool and Dre. Shout out to all the producers that you name yeah. period. You know what I'm saying? Tapping in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Guys that's working with years and stuff. Like I like to tap into producers because like sometimes, you know, artists find their niche when they run across one or two producers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so when you was naming that, you know, that um that Ross dug your ear on that track, um yeah. I was saying to myself, that's pretty cool. Who produced the single? Uh, um uh P Paul Cabin and uh, Tariq, the one I told you. They did actually they they produced uh, um I don't know if you're familiar with Wale um too much, you know what I'm saying? But he did uh, uh what was the last song that he did with Jeremiah? On Chill? Right, 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 right. They produced that for him. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a vibe. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Song. But you know, yeah, that's they that's they type of energy, which like I said, it kind of just fits, you know what I'm saying, the type of person who who I am, you know what I mean? So uh definitely, you know, shout out to Paul Cabin and um Tariq, because they definitely got some power. And then they um who else I got working on the album? 1500 and nothing. I don't know if you heard of them. Yeah, very familiar with the sound and um with the brand of who these brothers are, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to 1500 and nothing for sure. Yeah, and then they got this new production team. Um, have you heard of the R and B cat named Blast? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm familiar with Blast. He works over with Atlantic Records. Um, they got a um, there's a production team that did majority of his album called the Eastie Boys out of L.A. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they got a vibe too. So I'm, I'm definitely tapped. And and shout out my man Drummer Boy. I definitely forgot my man. Oh yeah, drummer. Mm -hmm. that's home. Yeah, song. yeah, song yeah, drum. <laughs> So for the LP, I got uh, Cool and Dre, Drum, the Eastie Boys, and uh, 1500 to Nothing. Hey, is the album, I know that's the EP. Right. Um, um, you Are you pretty much close to wrapping up an album, or, or that, am I speaking to him? No, no, nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm in, like, I'm, I'm recording it literally right now as we speak. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, Drop the EP independently, you know what I'm saying? I got an um, independent situation with a company called Ingrews. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Um, but this record right here, you know what I'm saying? This, this, you know, EP kind of grabbed so much traction early on that right now that they in talks of this upstream situation. Nice. So, um, before I end up making that, you know, decision, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to definitely finish doing my breakfast and handling my album and making sure that, you know what I mean? If I do end up, you know, upstreaming the Def Jam or do something like that, at least I got the leverage and, you know, beneficial business to, to get it done the right way. But, you know, if, if, if they, you know, trying to do the traditional deal, you know, I'm I I I'd rather take that gamble and stay where I'm at. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. I mean, you know, you can predict what your uh blood, sweat, and tears gonna do for sure. Absolutely. I got a um, a major producer down here too. Um, Understood. Yeah, um, you know, you keep in mind, uh, monster. <laughs> um, also uh, the Mecca, uh, okay. got it. Uh, Cash Fargo. Of course, Beast by the Pound. You know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Beast by the Pound. Yeah, legendary shit. Yeah, it's, it's it got a it got a few people right right around this way. So right. you know what I'm saying? if you end up you know you know kind of coming across your plate, I would, would I get an email. You know what I'm saying from yeah, me. absolutely. Where you uh where you at? You you in the A or are you in the no, no. Honestly, I'm honestly I'm everywhere wherever they need me. Come but, on, talk I'm that talk. Based in Louisiana, but I just like to stay in this some international airports. You know, yeah. New York Strong is international, Atlanta, LA, you know, Miami. I just like to go where they need to check the beat. Yeah. Like uh, but this no, no, I definitely I definitely gotta get you out to the city. Actually, crazy thing about it, a few years back, um, I seen you actually in Phoenix. I think you was on the road with currency at the time. Thanks. But Thanks. I was gonna say actually, I I I just got back in the city and I slid through the show, you know what I'm saying, for 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 a quick little moment, you know what I'm saying? So you know what I mean? I'll I definitely make sure that we, you know, stay in contact and get you out here, man, to get some work in because, you know, oh, you definitely was one of them ones. 
Shit, well, man, I got major love for AZ. You know, yes. like um, I just, I just love that West, bro. Like, I know yes. it's a lot of, um politics and a lot of programming. Right, right. I respect that, you know what I mean. But I just really just love that West. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, um, grew up off of it too, in WA, DOC, so far like that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel that by going out on that on that West Coast like that. Yeah. This is just dope, man. Like, um, I'm rooting for you. Um, for the fact, real, real spill for the fact that you know you're indie and you you got a sound mind and you swing in your axe. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, I, I love that, man. Cats coming from out of nowhere with something and going to make sure that the world see them. And Absolutely. It, I mean, I really, really dig that, bro. Like, uh, I love this part of my career too, because I get to see the next up and coming uh, bad boys or the next up and coming go getters, the next up and coming legends, you know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah, bro, like love to witness it, you know what I'm saying? Because it's that time. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, man, you know, the EP was definitely um, a great body of work put together. Like I said, you know, I got, you know, Ross on there, Vito on there. Uh, my man J Rock from TDE. I don't know if you're familiar with, with my man J Rock. TDE, no doubt, no doubt. Yes. I got I got J Rock on there. Shout out to my man Esau K Boy. Um, and that's it. But like I said, man, put a great body of work together that I know, you know, what I'm saying people can really appreciate it and uh, respect. And like I said, the LP going to be a monster. You know what I mean? I got I got I got some heavy shit going on in it, and definitely. You know, I'm 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 in the business of of shocking on people. You feel me? So no doubt. No doubt. definitely yeah. That's what you do. So what's up? You you gonna take the the dinner with whole or you gonna take the half a meal? <laughs> you know what? Man, <laughs> listen. Yeah, my man talking about you know what? Uh man, listen, you know, I'm big on knowledge, you know what I'm saying? I'm big on uh you know, get get knowledge from 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 people that I feel that got likable minds. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know, Hove is definitely one of them ones that I can turn water to wine with. But best believe though, you know what I mean? I can take that half a meal because I believe in me. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> you feel me? I can definitely, you know what I'm saying, take that on my on my own and turn that to a honey bun. So I, I'm I'm not even tripping. But right, right, I already know how it go. <laughs> I but, couldn't but, yeah, you know what I, mean? I just got to be in the mood. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of see how that slang right, got. You know, right. I got to be in the mood at that moment. I couldn't help but ask you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a cat, go get us. So, picture us. I, I, um, I hear that you know your way around um, the real estate. You know your way around uh, finances and things Absolutely. like that. Shout out to TEA. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 You know, no. We 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 definitely like I'm telling you you know whenever I say I'm, I'm a real student of the game, you know what I'm saying um, that's a that's a true statement. You know what I'm saying one thing that I did you know even though that the situation with game didn't you know end up the way that I wanted it to, but one thing I did take away from him was he definitely um, gave me an opportunity and platform. You know what I'm saying to stand tall on on a national level, but he also you know what I'm saying helped me understand how to create a great body of work. And I also was able to, you know, to learn from his successes and his mistakes sure. in this in this business. But even something bigger than that, man, you know, he 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 really helped me become a student of music. You know, one thing I will say before before we wrap up soon was um, we was going overseas one time, and he gave me a thousand dollars, and he said, "Hey, I want you to go to the um to the music store, and I want you to buy every classic hip hop album." And I was like, you know what I mean? He was like, yeah, no, for real. He's like, actually put a list. I'm talking about got the chronic, you know, all eyes on me, Wu-Tang 36 Chambers, you know what I'm saying? Of course we had all of the no limits, you know what I'm saying? I had Outkast, I had, uh, you know, UGK, Ghetto Boys. Like, I mean, right. he had he had me listen to every genre, you know, I'm gonna say genre, but every, you know, region, you know what I'm saying? And it was something that at that time I didn't understand, you know what I'm saying? You know, he was always like, Hey, listen, you know, listen, listen, listen to his cadence, listen to his pocket, listen to his voice, you know, listen, listen to, you know, Nas's creativity on how he's, you know, creating these themes for, you know what I'm saying? Right. So 
when, 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 I, when I say I, I, I really am a student of the game, you know what I'm saying? I'm really a student of the game to where, like I said, man, you know, I was a, I was a, a fan, you know what I'm saying, of your music. You know what I mean? I, I felt that, you know, you always had that, you know, your voice always stood out. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, like, like, you know, things like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely about to start shaking shit up here this year and next year for sure. So you, so you definitely going to be hearing a lot more of me for, for real. Okay. Okay. So we talking, we talking floor seats because KD is definitely in the building. Come on. But they're running Come on. Up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, 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 Keep it a bug. I'm, you know, we floor seating now, baby. It's nothing. Come, 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 on, you know, come on, you're rich. Talk to him. Talk to come him. On, him that's a factual statement right there. You feel me? Like, you know, that's that's one thing too, man. You know, when cats come out here and rock with me, you know, they 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 really understand, like, nah, you know, he moved right. Just like Ross said, Ross was like, bro, you every time I see you, you move right. right. You know what I'm saying? You always got your fly shit on, you always, you know, bottles coming, cool nigga energy. You got the right people around you just to, you know, eye and look out and you always show respect and love, my nigga. That goes a long way in this industry. You know what I mean? That goes a long way. Yeah. Get you in more rooms, um, um, for for not an without an expiration date, opposed right. to another kind of way. So tell me this here, um, to even to try back a little bit. Yeah. What was the game experience signing like, or or um, the collaboration just? in the early part of that, you know, how was that for you? What game? Yeah, just with that, that first getting together, you know what I'm saying, here's my take. We'll put the fire in underneath you to say, okay, here's the opportunity. Right, that's it, bro, they're about to catch, catch Rich Evans. You know, um, at that particular time, back in Phoenix, um, the Rough Riders had a heavy presence in Phoenix. You know, DMX, yes. Wiz, you know what I mean, right. Earl Hayes. So they 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 had a heavy heavy presence in Phoenix, and at that time, Swiss owned a club, car dealership, couple things out 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 in the city. And um, I was leaving the studio one night, and I was driving by this club, and I seen a Lambo out front with the doors up. So I was like, man, let me slide in there and get a drink. When I slid in there, I seen Swiss and I seen Gang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So time went by, man. You know, I got a drink and I got the opportunity to end up running in the game, and I ended up giving them my my disc. And the crazy shit about it was, you know what I'm saying? I know this may sound like some, you know, theatrical movie shit, but this is exactly what it was. It's like, literally, you know what I'm saying? The next morning he gave me a call and was like, yo, hop on this plane. Nice. Um, at that at that particular moment, man, you know, you really just start looking at your life, like flash, you know, flash by you. Like, hey, listen, if, if, if he calling me out here, you know, I gotta, I gotta really be on point. You know what I'm saying? So... I went out there, man. He picked me up from the airport and we went right to the studio. He was working on his album at the time, The Doctor's Advocate. Nice. And um, he was playing me records, asking my opinion. You know what I mean? And we just got to locking in the whole weekend. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm up with him from, you know, 6, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. helping create his project. You know what I mean? And then, you know, it just ended up becoming where he was like, yo, you, you remind me of me, but a little bit younger and fresher. And okay. he stamped me hard, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, Double XL, Source, BET Awards, you know what I'm saying? We torn, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything was looking up. But then again, like I said, there's the music business side to it that I didn't really understand that he was in with 50 that Domino affected the whole the whole label, you know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, man, you know, from, from, from a loyalty standpoint, you know, I stood, you know, I stood, I stood there as long as I could. But then eventually, you know, I had to be honest with myself and have a conversation with him. And I was like, big bro, I love you dearly, but I believe that I can I can shake shit up out here. You know what I mean? And I was like, you know, the love and respect is still going to be there. But, you know what I mean? I got to at least swing the bat at, at, at my own dream. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's what happened. I agree. I agree. That's, that's, um, that's crazy. It's a journey. You know, what do you feel about the streaming, you know, seeing where, where it transitioned from those early spaces of CD, things like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, have you, uh, how are you uh, are viewing streaming, you know, when it comes to your um, You know, I'm, I'm still like, even, it's even like with like, like social media, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, of course I'm adapting to the, to the process of it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I got picked up at the time when I was on the cuff of still like, 
slinging out the trunk, but going to social media and streaming. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, streaming is cool. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? From a financial standpoint and from a business standpoint, of course, we would want that $13, $12, you know what I mean? Directly instead of a half a, uh, you know what I'm saying? A half of, you know, yeah, whatever it is. But although, you know, you know, I I feel at this particular place, there's really nothing that I can do about it to change it. I just got to just stay on my business and add value to it to keep it moving. You know, there's still other ways around that I can still get that 15 or that 20 or that 50 or that 100 by packaging up to merge some CDs, some some other things to go along with the stream. You know what I mean? So I mean I'm 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 cool with it just just because, you know what I mean, I'm just still hungry for, you know, you know, uh uh progression in it, you know. So are y'all still known for having retired strippers and ball players out there in Arizona? Absolutely. Uh, porn stars. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I was gonna say that's you know that 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 definitely hasn't changed about the turf, you feel me? At all. <laughs> Yeah, y'all been had it going. I heard some awesome things about Scottsdale, Arizona. Come oh, on, man. I'm telling you, brother. I'm, I'm gonna make sure we get you back out here to have a good time and get some work in, brother. Yeah, you know that, that's on everything. AZ on them jet life and smokers, uh, smokers clubs tours. Smokers club tour, yep. Always off the chain, bro. I used to just enjoy it. I'm talking about thoroughly, bro. We used to get our Phoenix Sun shit together. Come so, on, y'all part of the town, baby. We got on stage, y'all. Oh. It was love. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all know it was love. You feel me? So that's dope. that's dope. Um, I came out there uh, not too long ago, and I spoke at a school. This uh, professor had booked me for college to come talk, but um, I feel like um, this is going to be a no brainer for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, tell me, are you active yourself on social media? Or are you still getting the hang of? You know what I mean? Like between yeah. reels and Facebook, TikTok. I, I, I'm I'm locked in on, on on the only thing I'm still getting the hang of is, is TikTok. But my social media presence, my content presence, you know what I'm saying? Facebook presence is definitely strong. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm big on the um aesthetics of it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I feel like, you know, the presentation gotta match who you is as an artist or as an individual. You know what I mean? Like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm big on making sure that everything's appealing to the eye. You know what I mean? Like I said, it gotta, it gotta definitely be cohesive to who I am as an artist and as, as an individual, but I definitely got the uh, social media thing down, man. Like I said, now, man, we just, you know, we, we're gonna jump on this road and go high five and kiss some babies, man, and get to the grunt work, you know? That's right, man. Run that presidential uh, campaign, playboy. Um, Run that presidential campaign. So tell me this, you have any up, upcoming tours? Um, yeah. of things coming on that we can look forward in the next couple uh weeks, yeah. couple months. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely out there at our uh, Southwest by Southwest in uh two weeks. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be out there in Austin, you know what I mean, doing that. Um fresh off my, my Super Bowl run. Um be out there at, at Dre's with Ross in Vegas. Uh matter of fact, J Rock from TDE actually is putting a tour together. Right now we're talking to Top Dog, you know what I'm saying, to have me open up that that whole run right there. So, uh, yeah, so, so, so definitely, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of positive things in motion, man. Like I said, you know, thus far, everything has been working out, you know, wonderfully. The rollout's been good. The response from the Can Knock the Hustle single and the highly favored EP is, is, is tremendous. Uh, Ross has been, you know, pushing it. J-Rock, everybody that's been involved with the whole campaign and, 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 and EP has just been doing their part. So, you know, I can't even really, uh, I can't even really say anything, you know, negative. That's awesome. That's awesome. That'd be cool to catch in some of these cities. I may be out there on South by Southwest with my man Scotty ATL and the OG Ron C. We were talking. Yeah. So if you're going to be out there, I, I may be out there March 16th. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Tap in. You know what I'm saying? Um, Absolutely. Second, you're not too busy, you know? Absolutely. I think it's just just dope, man. What's the name of the single again? It can't knock the hustle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Can't Knock the Hustle. Like I said, featuring uh, Ross and uh, my man Vito. Uh, my man Vito from Atlanta. Shout out to my guy Vito, man. He definitely out here cooking too in that, that R&B lane, man. He um he independent in his last single went platinum called You Got It independently, man. I think that that was a dope look. You know what I mean? He, he out there in uh, ATL. But um, like I said, his last single went um, platinum and uh, he just dropped his new album. And I think his, his single right now is featuring Chris Brown. So 
you know, you know, I know the niggas that I'm running with. That's some, you know, in in in, in my circle, definitely getting to it. That's major. That's major, man. One foot after the other, definitely get you there. You Absolutely. Did. Hey, can you also uh, tap in and let people know uh, your social handle, places that your websites, places they can yeah. tap in, young Rich Evans, baby. Yeah, man, you already know, man. Like I said, it's your man, Richie Evans, live and direct. Mr. Can't Knock the Hustle himself. Make sure you uh, get with me on my you know, social sites. My Instagram is at who is Richie. You know what I'm saying? My Facebook, who is Richie. Uh, make sure y'all tap in and get that highly favored EP. Like I said, definitely got something on there for everybody. And uh, like I said, we got that fire single called Can't Knock the Hustle featuring my guy, Rose and Vito. So make sure you tap in with the boy because I'm definitely the face of it. Let's get it. That's crazy, bro. AZ making noise, baby. AZ making noise. Yeah. Hey, and um, and if anything, single videos, any type of promo we can assist on, on our okay. side, you know what I'm saying? Just always know that. Hey, we locked in. I totally, totally appreciate your time. Shout out to your guy, Victor, uh, management assistance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's just right here. Appreciate you guys making time to do the interview. You know what I'm saying? Give any uh um some words of advice to any upcoming uh you know guys you know what I'm saying a uh, 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 little mamas that's pursuing just being yeah. a hustler you know what I'm saying and right now where you at is there any any wise words you can give them some some gems man I just always say man believe in self keep God first and keep pushing you know what I mean like I said man you know you know this shit doesn't ha happen over overnight you know what I mean but as long as you got belief in self and keep God first you know what I mean. The biggest goal is attainable. So, you know, just keep smashing 10 toes down. That's major, man. Without no further ado, young Richie Evans, who is Richie on, on uh, IG, single king, knock yeah. the hustle feature. Ross, Vito, yeah. stop playing games with them. AZ on the map. KD in the city. Super Bowl in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? These guys are wealthy. Getting that money. That's a factual statement. You know what I mean? So, hey, that's God what it is. You, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, big homie. Hey, we're going to be Love looking for you, and we're going to be rooting for you. Most importantly, we're going to keep you in our prayers you to keep winning. You heard me? Love. Likewise, brother. Love. Love. Peace to next time. Who got that fire? Won't you pass me the green so I get higher?